What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator Videos. I'm here with what could be the best golf simulator projector for 2023. This is the BenQ LH820ST. And if you happen to see my video previously to this, which was my DIY home golf simulator build using this SIG 10 enclosure uh, with mat and everything, I did uh, use the BenQ LH820ST in that video. Make sure you check it out. I show a full time lapse and it really highlights how easy it was to set up this short throw projector. This thing has a ratio of only 0.5. Five, all right, so what that is going to allow you to do is get the projector close enough to where you're not gonna have to worry about casting any shadows, and it even has other features to make it really simple to set up. So I'm just over nine feet from my hitting zone to the screen. I was able to use their digital shrink feature to just shrink the image down. Then it also has corner fitting. So if you don't have it perfectly mounted, mine was very temporary. I was able just to take each corner and dial it in. And then on top of that, you have keystone capabilities. So depending on how high the projector is, you do need a keystone adjustment just to make sure that you know it isn't tilted in from the top or the bottom. And then, on top of that, it even has a digital horizontal shift where you can shift the image left or right. It has a very simple manual focus. I mean, it was just so easy to set up. Now let's talk a little bit about some of the highlights of this that really make it stand out. Well, it's the 3600 lumen brightness coming from a laser light source. So that's gonna give you incredible life. We're talking like 20,000 plus hours out of this. And unlike a lamp, it's not going to degrade in brightness over time. It turns on really quick. It doesn't need to warm up. And then that DLP color technology that's inside of this is going to give it those vivid colors. They're not going to you know, degrade. It's gonna stay that quality. And on top of that, they even have a golf mode that's really going to dial in the colors, especially the greens and blues and make sure that they're vivid for you. All right, now, uh, I'm sitting here with the GS Pro Golf Simulator software. We have it on the ultra setting, and I thought that, that would be perfect to really highlight this. We're out at one of their, in my opinion, hero courses, Whispering Pines, really shows that detail. Now, I have a bright light on right now. I'm actually gonna take you guys up close to the screen with no light here in just a second. But a few more things that I did wanna point out. If you can hear behind me right now, I actually have sound, all right? So simple HDMI connection from your computer to the projector, and you're actually going to get the sound from the software coming through the built-in speaker. And let me tell you, I don't even have it turned up all the way right now, and it being right above actually makes it really nice. Now, if you wanted to go above and beyond, you could run uh, from their audio out from the projector or your computer. You could put speakers maybe behind the screen in a safe spot um, or surround, whatever you're doing. Um, but it's really nice just to have them. I mean, you're talking about a, a simple DIY home golf simulator build like this, and you even have sound coming from like right here. It feels immersive. So um, let's go ahead. I'm gonna grab my camera. We're gonna turn all the lights off, and I'm gonna get you guys up close to the screen to show you the quality of the BenQ LH820ST. All right guys, so we're here with the BenQ LH820ST to give you guys a close up look. I do have the lights in the garage off now. I do have just a little bit of ambient light like you normally would if you had just a narrow beam over your hitting area. Um, you can really see now how that laser light source shines, the DLP color. I'm gonna go up close. First thing I wanted to do though is show you guys a flyover. So let's just go over to our GS Pro software and hit flyover, because I wanna show this in motion so you guys can see that it's just such a smooth image in motion, no colors blurring, the laser light source, you know, just being super bright, allowing it to provide a crisp image, and the contrast. So if I actually step up close and you look at the clouds, I mean, you're talking about a lot of white, just a little bit of gray, and it's able to produce that contrast to show you that detail. Um, you know, 1080p, I find, is plenty crisp. I'm running, obviously, not at its native resolution, necessarily, um, in 4x3 format, and I used quite a bit of the digital correction, you know, with the uh, zoom and the corner fitting and everything. If you set this up perfectly and, and use less digital correction, 
you potentially can get a little bit of a sharper image. But I purposely wanted to show it this way um, because it was so simple to set up. And if we come up close to the screen, and I mean you look at the details of just the color and all the objects, the contrast that it's providing, you know, the sharp image. And my phone's doing its best job, obviously, with exposure and autofocusing, you know, in a dark environment. And yet, I mean, from what I can see here, hopefully you guys can see the same. I mean, it's just providing a really, really nice image. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed looking up close at the quality of the BenQ LH820ST. I mean, I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of projectors, and I feel like the price point that this thing's coming in at is really giving you a ton of bang for the buck, but not only that, that versatility that everyone's looking for for an easy setup, all right? doesn't matter if it's going permanently in a space or if it's going in a, just a simple DIY garage golf you know, simulator like this, it makes it really easy. So if you guys have any questions, make sure you shoot me an email. All right, I'll pin it to the top of the comments and put it in the description. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions for you guys about the BenQ LH820ST or other golf simulator projectors, you know, maybe components or software, anything along those lines. Even if you need help maybe dialing in your picture, I would be happy to do that. So you know, feel free to reach out to me. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.